In this video, you will learn about the procedural steps for performing cannulation, including the equipment required. This is an NHS Highland Practice Development Skills video. This video has been made to be utilised in conjunction with the Practice Development Skills training courses and can be used as a reusable learning unit to refresh your knowledge and skills. Course attendance and competency assessment must be completed before utilising the skill and staff should make themselves familiar with the relevant NHS Highland Skills Policy, which can be found in the Policies Library on the NHS Intranet site. Before approaching the patient, perform hand hygiene. Introduce yourself to the patient and explain the procedure, including risks and benefits. Gain verbal consent and check allergy status. Support the chosen arm on a pillow. Equipment required. PPE. A plastic wipeable tray for ANTT. Your cannula, 2% chlorhexidine and 70% alcohol skin preparation, an extension or your needle free connector, semi permeable transparent IV film dressing, a pre filled saline flush, or if drawing up your flush, a 5ml syringe, flushing solution, and a needle for drawing up, a tourniquet and a sharps container. Apply tourniquet for no longer than two minutes. Select appropriate vein and then release the tourniquet. Perform hand hygiene. Disinfect your wipeable tray for ANTT, a septic non-touch technique. Prepare equipment for cannulation and prime the extension set using ANTT, ensuring not to touch key parts. When preparing the pre-filled syringe, please follow the manufacturer's instructions. This may include loosening off the plunger by pulling down and twisting the cap and expelling the air within the syringe. If using an extension set, ensure that you prime the line prior to use using ANTT. Clean the chosen site with Chloroprep using an up and down, back and forth strokes for 15 to 30 seconds and allow to dry. Do not repalpate vein once clean. Apply tourniquet for no longer than two minutes, making sure not to contaminate the skin you have just cleaned.
apply non-sterile gloves. Remove needle guard and inspect device for any faults. Anchor vein with non-dominant hand using skin traction. Holding the cannula in your dominant hand, place the cannula directly over the vein. Insert cannula through the skin at an angle of 10 to 30 degrees with the bevel of the needle facing up. Once flashback seen in the chamber of the stylet, reduce the angle of insertion and advance the cannula slightly to ensure entry into the lumen of the vein. Withdraw the stylet slightly with your dominant hand until second flashback seen along the cannula shaft. Hold the stylet stationary with one hand and with the other hand advance the cannula forward off the stylet. Release tourniquet. Apply digital pressure to the vein above the cannula tip and remove the stylet and secure primed extension set onto the end of the cannula. If bloods are required, this should only be done immediately after inserting the cannula and prior to flushing. This can be done by attaching the blood adapter to the end of the cannula and then attaching the blood tube and drawing blood. Competency in venipuncture must have been obtained prior to taking blood. Use steny strips provided in the sterile IV tegaderm dressing to secure the cannula. Attach the pre-filled saline flush and aspirate blood to check for patency. Then flush the cannula using a push-pause flush, ending with positive pressure. Observe the site for swelling or leakage and ask the patient whether they are experiencing any pain or discomfort. Dress the cannula with a sterile IV tegaderm dressing, making sure the clear window is covering the entry site of the cannula so you are able to observe the site for signs of infection as part of your daily VIP scoring. Label the dressing with the date and time and number of cannula. Dispose of clinical waste appropriately and perform hand hygiene. Fill in the PVC insertion sticker and invasive device maintenance bundle. Please ensure that appropriate PPE is worn when carrying out all clinical skills, including aprons. Aprons have not been worn during the making of these skills videos to reduce noise interference.